Okay, today we have a very interesting gentleman on the set. We are doing the history of Toronto, the soccer here in Toronto. And this gentleman is one of the foundation members of this whole project that I'm doing here. So without further ado, I would ask him to introduce himself and give us a bit of his background. We are listening to this gentleman attentively. The name Neville Glanville. I went to Canada in 1966. I, I stint with the Jamaica national team. I was there for about two years. And then came to Canada. We started. I was essentially a cricketer before. Cricket, 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 cricket. Then when I got into the Jamaica, the Jamaica setup, I wasn't so pleased that, that the environment wasn't, and I tell people almost every day that after training, we'd go down to the, to Lucas, but you have some elder people only. I remember Prescott and Wedderburn and Garrick, and they'd tell me that I don't have any guts. I don't have any guts. I don't have any guts. And I, that kept me, it kept me, I finally decided that, look, no, I'm getting out of this. The senior cup, I wanted to play cricket. We usually, we usually have a made, pick the side, I usually pick the, the senior cup team on a Thursday. So I went down and practiced. And I put 14, the guy, the captain at the time, wrote 14 names on the, the board. And I'm saying, that's all they used to do. You write down the name and you go on the board and see if you're playing. And I'm saying to E.B. King, look, if Penna know that I left and play cricket, I'm out. So in any case, I'm going to be out. I have to know if I am playing. Moon tell it to me. So I just say, look, it's all right. Don't bother. Just you can take out my name. I just continue the football. So that was it. We played. We played. We, we had a, played a match in Jamaica. I wouldn't tell you. I tell you off here that my experience with that that was bad, terrible, and people like Kyle was in the stand. Shouting, take him off, take him off. Um, there was a reason for it. Then we, we played against, we went to Mexico and got about, it was it, about 7 nil. We got 7 nil in, in, in Mexico. They wanted to. And, and this, is the, uh, this is the Jamaica senior team you're talking about, the reggae yeah. boys, right? Yeah. And what, was, year was, what year it, was that? Year you it found? was reggae boys at the time. It was. I know, so, but, but for, for people around, around, around 64, that's when I started. Okay. But after that, I was leaving. That's when I came to Canada. When I came to Canada, going to Rice. Um, but wait, um, while you were playing there, did you apply to come to Canada? I just want the vision because w with you, we want to know your vision because you're the foundation of a lot of things, right? No. So... You're playing on the national team, and then um, you're saying you come to Canada. Was there a preempt where you decided that you wanted to go away, or was there an opportunity offered to you to travel? The, 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 foot, <laughs> the, the stint with the Jamaica squad made me realize that, look, you need to be doing something. And some people used to prompt me that I need to study, I need to study. And I had a good friend, a close friend, who came, Charlie Willock, and he came to Lucas, and eventually he was leaving. So the, the opportunity was there, and a group of us, <laughs> a group of us used to work at separate, and we just planned, and we applied, and a junior was there, too, not, another junior, and that's how we came to Canada. We left the work at job at separate. I didn't have any vision about doing anything, apart from you going and studying that that is all um i was being invited i was invited first to come to you the states they would be a fear to come down people who knew to play and i was telling them look if i want to play cricket that badly i would leave jamaica so the next thing now while we had school i met sosa tom sosa was a lecturer Tom was, he used to alternate, the, the, the coaching of the team it would alternate. And this year when I came up, he was supposed to be the coach. So he, 
comment uh, and, and that market. was 19 what year was that that should if that is happening in 66 that was winter that's when we went to, to rise and Sosa spoke to me he was expecting he was going to be there but him say he feel that thing is going to change because I am there so the guy who was coaching the team I cannot remember his name was a Jamaican and he refused to hand over to Sosa so I, wait, hold on here we talking about the Ryerson team now or West Indies no Ryerson this is Ryerson, Ryerson. Okay. But, All right. and I was I was carrying an injury from back home, a knee injury. I used to play because I was doing a lot of things to strengthen my leg muscle. And it was, yeah, it was, <laughs> it one day, you know Patrick Smith? Yeah, Skedron. Skedron. Well, we had moved, I cannot forget, we removed up a new house and I said, we do, I don't want Patrick to know. That was Thanksgiving. I don't want Patrick to know where we live now because I'm not playing any football today. And I'm there and I'm there and schedule and turn up. We didn't find a place I don't know. And I went to a field where playing a match. It was cold and I just wasn't doing anything. And the first time I turned and tried to touch a ball, my knee snapped. You could hear it. So when I'm back in school, so it's a similar one day, and said, what is wrong with you? And I tell him, you know, my knee. And so, so send me to the doctor. And so they sent me to the biggest orthopedic surgeon in, in Canada and operation. And so, so I used to play, but I kind of going ahead of the thing because you're still West Indies United, or it came about. So I'm ahead of that. Yeah. Because the first week that I came up, I remember playing a match, a cricket match, West Indies. We had a West Indies team too. And in the night, and I, I'll tell you, got okay, a split. So, so, so let me put that back in perspective now, because you said you have a West Indies team too, which means cricket. that's cricket, right? Is that mm -hmm. cricket? cricket no, no. How did the cricket? Is that how the cricket came in? So cricket preempt the football, correct? No, by that by by that time I was really into into the football, you know. So I was a cricketer, as I say. So. I... Oh, but, um, Grant, what I want to know from you is the forming, the actual forming of the club, the year oh, the club formed. Good. That, that's, so that, you that's, the one instrumental in that. That's how I'm coming around to that now. Okay. With, with, with the football, you know, we played a match the night. Now, I, it was a semi-pro league. You had Sudbury. I don't even know about them. Skedron used to play for Sudbury. Skedron used to bring up players from Jamaica. We had, they had, at the time, Henry Laggett, Dunkley, I think Ramo used to play for them. We had about five, they had about five Jamaicans on the team. And they would come to Toronto and play a match. That was my first engagement with, with Sudbury. That made six. I remember the night some men found out that was RCMP, came onto the field and won the two teams. I just couldn't understand what was going on. And just about, oh, Hercule Vaz too used to play. Just about when the match was ending, it turned out into a brawl. Brawl, big fight, and I am holding onto my chin because I just got some stitches a day. I, I'm not participating inside of this. And then as the Vaz was about to jump the fence, and I go up to Vaz and say, what are you doing? He said, somebody threw something on him. And him, I said, you're going to go inside the stand. You know the little stand and probably hold about 200 or 300 people. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I said, look, I am not going to fight for these people and I'm not going to play anymore for them. We need to come together and deal with that. We need to play, for get yourself into a team. We're thinking about, you know, how do we start a Caribbean team? And then I heard that there was some people from, some play, they were playing football somewhere in a park. And it was some small islanders we went down there and the guy bailey bailey was the mr bailey mr bailey you was mr. the bailey first name everybody know him as mr bailey you remember his first name no i don't remember it i have to check somebody and we decided then that look we are going to connect with this team we're not going to form a new team we have to keep this west in this thing going so we're not forming a new team 
So essentially, we came in. Most of the small islanders were out, but they were, were close, were close, close, close. Um, then I remember this African guy, Tokes. Tokes is his name. And we had like Dunkley, myself, Pierce. And then you have Juna Park. I don't remember everybody. I'd have to take some time and, and go through it. Alan used to play it because we used to live, Alan used to live with us. So that is how this West Indies United came up. It was there. So, so, so let, me ask you, let me ask you to clarify. The name West Indies United was with the Islanders prior to you going and, and thing? Or, or, I, don't, or I don't know if it was the United, but it was West, West Indies United. But I know what we did was we straightened it. And I don't know, somewhere I was, was in the leadership. So everything sort of generated around me. Bailey was a quiet, quiet soul. And I remember one day that we played a match and we won. We were beating up the guys and everybody was enjoying themselves. And he said, Bailey said to me, said, boy, him don't like what was happening because we're humiliating the people. I said, but that's exactly what we want to do. And but the relationship was good. But we used to fight. The things used to end up in a brawl. The first time we played, we played a match one night and the guys attacked the referee and we came to the air defense. So it was a big fight. I can't remember Selwyn. You must ask him. Selwyn is always at the forefront of his, his fight. And we what did it, um a match of, I think a match after that, I got into a thing with some player and we were there and them run me off the field. And then I was telling Sosa, it's around that time I'm telling Sosa, I said, we have problems because we don't have any person of repute that is in the club. And, and I really like him come down and join up with us. So Sosa, almost his first stint is there, is a disciplinary meeting because they're going to discipline, it's a disciplinary meeting for the fight where we were protecting the referee. Nobody, not one, the referee never ever tell them that we came to his, we are supporting him. And then I was on this red card and the guy said to me inside the discipline meeting, said, none of us can represent the club, West Indies United, because I'm on suspension. At least I have a red card and that's what I'm supposed to have a trial. Sosa is not a known, well, known of, uh, of the club. But we had produced a yearbook and we circulated it and we sent it to them. And Sosa said to me, he said, Devil, the book, you just send it to them? I said, yeah. And he pulled out the book and said, you must have gotten this. And everything after that, it was just totally us. They listened, everything, everything. And out of that, the guys actually were checking Sosa. All of the, 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 the little clubs around the place were checking Sosa to take over the Toronto Football Association to be the president. But he wouldn't do it because... His heart and soul is with West Indies. So that essentially is how it seemed, and people say that we st I started the club. I didn't really start it. And that Sosa sometimes is mentioned as the person who started it. No, we really didn't start it, start it. But it was our oh, it was my strong, strong vision that we had to keep the West Indian community. We need to bring them together. Um, somewhere along the line. We linked up with, with, with um, Rosa Douglas, and that was even more. <laughs> that even strengthened it and some more. Um, and Rosie and myself became good, 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 good friends. So uh, you can now ask any question that you want to do. But that is how that is how West Indies United was straight. I don't remember if it was West Indies United or just West Indies before, and we put the United. Okay, I, yeah, that, I that kind of makes sense. Within the time now, you 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 have the mantle of the West Indies United. Mm -hmm. you have your schoolmate, your friend, Tom Sosa, with you, mm -hmm. right? It was a lecturer. You have Douglas, you have yeah. Douglas now, who you befriend also. Um, he was more administrate. He was ad an administrator, and it, it was good, 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 good support. I mean, the type of leadership that he provided administratively. It was 
for top, top, top class. Um, we, some things about the team. I don't know if there was any specific vision apart from doing something that is Westy, that represented the West Indies and that we could be proud of and all the people inside. Mainly everybody who used to come from the batters. That is where you, you, you had to live because you're looking at accommodation and you hear that, oh, there's a house down in Batters End or so. That was a strict West Indian community. And that's where we found ourselves. Um, now, there's also uh, Eastdale, 96 Eastdale, <laughs> where you yeah. and Moses live. I understand oh, you accommodated all these players. Now, again, that's why I want to get into the meat of it. What was your, now that you're, you're in the helm of the team, right? You have the support of Sosa and these guys. It seemed like your vision start to roll. It seemed like you, you, you start putting pieces to the puzzle together. No, I will, How see, were you getting in contact with those guys coming up from Jamaica? What was all, that? All that was happening is that. Everybody, you know? Good. All my intention was that to have something that represented West Indies and people, the, the black, black people would be proud of. And therefore, even when I was in, when I was in lectures, if I saw somebody of colored person, a black person coming, I'd come out of the lecture and invite them down to the house. So it was, it was a situation that, well, some of them guys knew, knew me before because I used to play football in Jamaica. So people like Kaya, every one of them will come. I mean, sometimes I hear them guys tell me some things. I give them out a car. I don't know. We just used to do it with the help of Sosa. We used to we used to get almost not illegally. We used to get almost all of these guys landed. We we got through. We talked to them. We lectured them, and we got through some things. And that's all they got. Your experience in Toronto, and now that you're in, you're back in Jamaica and stuff, you didn't miss the place. Certainly, I I mean we have to talk about that. But I was I was disappointed in a sense because. I found out I didn't go back to Toronto for about 17 years. And when I go back, the club was just about splintering. I mean, and they were telling me, boy, since you're gone, things, I, I was very disappointed because I felt it was like, say, yes, you're asking about a vision, that you had this vision and say, we're going to play this and we're going to play semi-pro. And so I didn't, I just knew that we're good and we were going to get to the highest level, whatever it is, that's what we would do. But it was like, say, we're planning that this is it. Two, two things I need to tell you. The first time Pele played in Toronto at the Varsity Stadium, I don't know who I was sitting beside. And I remember saying to the person, just uh, as a boy, if Dunkley just born in a different country, I was comparing Dunkley to, I, without even understanding what I was doing. The other very interesting story is Sammy. When, when Sammy and Pisa came up, and I used to say to them, I said, what on earth have I done? Why you, I have to deal with you guys. Them just used to say, oh, it's not a problem. But, you know, well, young, they, they, and, those were young guys too, and they stayed close to Mischievous, mischievous. And I used to say to them, I said, why them saying, you know, why, why is me? Why you? <laughs> but it was good fun. I mean, Bugs used to live. I mean, Bugs supposed to know everything. We make sure that Bugs got school, everything. And I remember, you see, this thing with Beckham and them people, I was telling them that, look, there's a way you can kick this ball, you can do, that nobody, no goalkeeper cannot save it. And we put the ball on a show and Bertis, and Bertis was just literally just kicking it inside the goal, same way. Everything, I mean, talent. And you talk about Earl Four, I believe that Earl Four is one of the best defenders I've ever seen play football. And I'm serious about that. Anything we didn't cover that you want to cover, or anything like that, or you, we, we good? I, I think we covered everything. But to, to me, it is it is important that people recognize individuals. When I say recognize individuals, and you know what? I don't want. I just don't like this thing false. I mean, I started West Indies United. No, that is false. We, con we connected with a West Indian team. Sosa started West Indies United. That is false. Neither of us. Probably I was a more prominent person in building up what was there, building on what was there. But none of us started it. Bailey was there. 
and kept Bailey as president at the club. Kept him right up to. So he the, was the president. Yeah, I had no way that I was what. A mild mannered, very nice, very calm. So he was the president, in fact, but we, we were running the club. Well, uh, Neville, I want to thank you for giving me the time and mm. the information. And it, it was, believe me, it was, it was good because, as I say, there's a lot of things that happened, the misinformation. And I was saying, I cannot believe some of these guys don't remember how this thing all went. But I understand some having some problems and so on. So I don't forgive them. But people like Bugs, Sammy is the only person who could give, who did this thing as straight. So again, thank you and stuff. And um, really. Mm -hmm.